TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. A little bit of a mixed bag. The only indices trading to the upside, indice index, is the NASDAQ 100. It's up 40 points. Otherwise, you've got the Dow back 164, about a half a percent. The S&P 5 points, about one-tenth of a percent. Russell 24, a little over 1 percent. Semi 6 tenths, or 23 points. Trannies 1 and 3 tenths percent, 218 uh, is to the downside, trading out at 16,573. We have Goldilocks trading up at 1868.20. That's up 14 bucks. Silver up 19 cents. She's trading at 25.14. As we do uh, during this uh, 2 p.m. update, we go take a look at our indice charts out here. So let's switch over to those uh, screens or that screen itself. We begin by taking a look at the Dow. It's in the upper left hand corner. What does the Dow have? The Dow has a TD nine count top. Now, this is how we'll put this together. What you're watching for here, and really, so the Dow Equity Future, the Dow Jones Cash Indice trading at 35,978. The Dow Equity Future contract, 35,910. You can take that price difference. Where the Dow Equity Future contract is likely headed to is support. Support is the bottom of its daily profile. Now, you're not seeing that here, but that level is 35,759. If price closes below that, then that would suggest that's on the equity future contract. That would put the Dow below, uh, I don't know what the level is. You've got to do the math on it yourself. But that would then suggest that the Dow cash indice should target 35,545. That's its TD nine count breakout level. The S&P 500 right now doesn't have a clear message. It's really sitting right on its oscillator and change line. Um, you know, yesterday was a push higher into that all time high, never got all the way up there. It still has a valid TD nine count. If price takes out that all time high, that pattern goes away. Way and we end up moving higher, much higher. In the case of the NDX 100, it has a TD9 count pattern, but price is closed above that green oscillator and change line for four consecutive sessions. It's a real good indication that the NQ wants to go tag, maybe take out its TD9 count top. In the case of the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 equity future contract is at the bottom of its profile is 2372. Right now, trading at 2379. 2379 is exactly where the cash indice is trading as well. So here it becomes real easy. If you see it close below 2372, of course, two consecutive closes below that. And then that says the Russell heads to 2244. The semis, they negated their topping signal yesterday. This market's not going to top unless the semis top. And we do not have a topping signal in place as we speak right now. Bearish reversal candle, that would be a different story out there. So, folks, stay tuned. David White is up next from the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien to follow. I'll be back with you tomorrow. What o'clock sharp with the one o'clock update followed by the traders at joe have a wonderful wednesday folks thanks so much for joining us the reality